I've been recently looking for a new multi-purpose lure rod, something that I can use with jerk baits as well as spinners with plugs. So pretty much one that will cover all bases reasonably well. And Fox Rage have recently released their prism range, and in it is the Pike Spin. 240 centimeters, so seven foot ten, and a casting weight of 30 to 100 grams. I must say they've done a really good job on how it looks. Uh, the tackle tarts out there will really love this rod. Uh, it looks fantastic. Some of the details that they put in in the handles and the um, eyes, it really does look the business. Uh, so yeah, it looks great, but to be honest, that doesn't really bother me. It's how it handles with the fish. So we'll get out on the kayak and see whether we can give it a go. So we'll start off with some reasonably heavy stuff. Um, although having said that, the heaviest I've got with me is an 86 gram uh, swim bait by Savage Gear. So we'll try that out. Unfortunately, most of the casting is going to be straight into the wind. So it's not a true test of how far you can cast with this rod, but I guess the idea should be there. We'll have a look, see whether we can get a decent cast on it. It's always tricky casting from a kayak anyway, but um, to be honest, this mark holds fish pretty much everywhere, so you don't necessarily have to have a big cast. And of course, that's one of the advantages of having a kayak. You can get to marks that you wouldn't normally be able to. This wind is perilous for the hat. I've already lost one that way. Oh, I don't really want to lose another, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for a decent fish. This is what we're going to start off with. It's the Savage Gear Line Through Roach in uh, bream colour. It's the moderate sinker, so it's about 86 grams. Uh, in my experience, these don't cast well anyway. Um, but as I said, it's the advantage of being on a kayak, you can get reasonably close, so you don't need a whacking great cast. But we'll see how the ride goes. Well, as I suspected, casting into this wind with uh, such a big lure has just been, it's like casting a plate. It just gets into the broadside of the wind and then that's it, it just goes down. So I'm gonna have to change. Well, he's hardly a mammoth fish, is he? But it's a start. Uh, I took it on a pretty small lure, to be honest. It was only about 16 grams, but uh, the rod handled it nicely. Now. I'm not going to be able to test the rod properly with a fish this size, but it was a bit of fun. Uh, there was a lot of wriggling and jumping and flashing off the surface, so yeah, it was good fun to have a fish on it. Um, you can really feel every move of the fish, there's plenty for power in it, certainly. Um, but even with small fish like this, it was, still, it was still a reasonably good fight, so yeah, pleased with it. We'll pop this guy back and see whether we can find his grandmother. Whoop. Easy does it. We're in again. I don't know what it is. The light's gone and suddenly they're really into feeding. Not a bad fish. Kicking a bit. Oh, under the boat. I think not. Oh, okay, maybe she does. Come on. Yeah. Not massive. But again, not too bad. Oh, okay, no. Ah, she's not as big as I thought. More attitude than actual size. But it's another fish, can't complain. All right, we'll get this one unhooked, and hopefully the trebles have held up a bit better this time. It's a different lure. Well, there we go. Nice little fish, a uh, bit of a scrapper. I thought at first she was gonna be bigger than that, but hey-ho, we'll get her back and see whether we can find a nicer, larger one. But still, I'm really glad that sun's gone. <laughs> it may be very nice and summery, but the fishing's so much better when it's cloudy. Well, I've had a few fish out of the weir pool, so I'm going to leave it be now and uh, just take, use the current to take me back. And I'll probably chuck in a lure or two as I go.
little popper along the edge of these lilies. Occasionally there are pike lurking in the margins, so it might be worth just running one along. You never know. I think if this rod does have a weakness, that soft tip makes it a little tricky to really get a good snap in the in a surface lure that needs needs jerks because you get too much flex in the tip. Uh, ideally, I like something a little soft, a little harder than this. But as an all-round rod, that's a small complaint, and you can still get some good action on it. Yeah, you have to be quite physical with your jerks to get the old pop to go. It'll do it, though. Bearing in mind it's an all-round rod. There's still enough, enough strength in the rod to, oh, lily pad. What a catch. There's still enough tension in the rod tip to be able to get a good, good amount. You just have to little, be a little bit more physical with it, I think. Obviously a, a rod dedicated to sort of a jerkbait setup um, would have a much stiffer tip. So you'd be able to put on that action much easier, but a bit more physicality and it, it seems fine. But no fish. Right. I think we'll call it quits there. Had some good fish, tested out the rod nicely, so head back in, have a cup of tea, and call it a day. finished filming I hooked into a really decent fish about 38 39 inches long 13 inch girth so a very nice fish to finish on it's just a shame that I'd run out of battery in the camera otherwise I would have filmed it but the rod coped really well there was plenty of power in the butt section but I didn't feel like it was so stiff that I couldn't really enjoy the fight it's certainly far more in the rod than I've been able to test so far but hopefully it will give me a chance to catch a few more fish in the future if I did have one criticism, it is that it is a little bit too soft to work jerk baits a lot. Um, that doesn't bother me so much because I don't use them that often. But to be a really good jerk bait rod, it would need to be a little bit stiffer so you can impart it, a little bit more action on it. But it is only a minor concern and it's designed to be an all round rod. And for that, it has been absolutely brilliant. So I'm looking forward to taking it out a few more times and really putting it through its paces.